When making small, um, simple electric roundabouts in primary schools, uh, the main technical problem is that um, when we use these motors, uh, they are designed to spin at many thousands of times per minute. So that if that motor was obviously connected to your toy roundabout, the toy roundabout would spin at thousands of times per minute. Um, uh, ridiculously fast. So the main um, technical challenge is to slow the motor down. Um, we can use one battery in, instead of the usual two batteries that I normally use, but it still goes around very fast. Um, another thing we can do is to use pulleys. And if we put the smallest pulley we've got on the motor, and then have the largest pulley we can find on the carousel and join them together with a rubber band, um, that will slow the speed down f uh, further. Uh, to be honest, it still goes around rather too fast. Um, you could then go on to use um, a pair of pulleys. So, to get started, we're going to make the central axle of the roundabout. Um, in this design, the axle stays still. The roundabout is going to spin around the axle. Uh, we're going to knock a piece of 5mm dowel into a wheel. I always try and arrange things to fit tightly with no glue, especially if there's something something's going to move. And then we glue the axle to the centre of a piece of card. Uh, I do this activity regularly with year 5 and 6. Um, it does need access to glue guns, really. Um, next, we're going to assemble the uh, roof and the straw, which is going to spin around the fixed axle. Um, this is my favourite material, Corex. These Corex discs, you can, you can uh, buy them from me. Uh, we're just going to um, push out the, um, ho the hole in the middle, open that out a little bit, so that the jumbo straw goes through without being squashed. And to support the roof, we're going to use another wheel. I'm just going to slide that on. I've drilled that out so that it fits the jumbo straw. And then I'm going to glue the roof onto there. So I'm just going to do that now with a glue gun. This activity, when I'm working with a whole class, takes 90 minutes. There we go. Sometimes I have to put a bit of glue here just to lock the roof in place. Taking great care not to get any glue uh, inside the straw. And then when we slide that on, that should now spin really nicely. Um, to fix the large pulley, again I've drilled out this pulley really carefully so that it's um, a nice sliding fit. It should fit on. There we go. Uh, but I'm not going to fix this in place uh, for now. I want that to be adjustable. So I'm going to slide that on there. Okay, um, so now let's start um, getting the um, motor in position. Uh, we put this very small P100 pulley on, onto the motor. Um, now we need the motor to stand up vertically, which is rather awkward because it doesn't have any brackets or fixing points. First of all, we're going to bend the wires out. As you can see, um, I supply the motors. Uh, I solder wires on uh, to make them uh, easier for pupils to use. And we could glue this to um, a cotton reel and then glue the cotton reel down. Or if you don't have any cotton reels, um, a block of wood would be fine. That's what I'm going to use. Now, you can buy plastic motor mount clips. Um, I find that a hot glue gun does the job if you put quite a lot of glue on. Being very careful with your fingers and glue the motor in place. Make sure there's room underneath for the wires to come out. Check that it's straight. And now I can put glue on the bottom of the block and glue the motor down in place. Now we're going to be using our old friend the number 18 rubber band. I've got one here. Um, so we don't want it too far away, it'll be too tight, we don't want it too close, otherwise the band will be too loose. Um, I think um, around about there will be the right position. So we'll glue that down. There we 
go, just hold that in place because that needs to be really firmly glued. And then we can fit the rubber band over the large pulley, get it in the groove and then stretch it onto the small pulley. And uh, it's very important that you adjust the large pulley so that it's directly level in line with the small pulley. Otherwise the rubber band will keep falling off. When you've got it directly in line, I'm just gonna put a small blob of glue here just to fix the, the wooden pulley in place. Just needs one blob of glue. There we go. And we'll give that a few seconds to dry. Now we can um, test it, see if it's working. I'm using a single AA battery holder here. Uh, they come, uh, you can either get them with wires fitted or without. Let's see what happens. We hold the wires together. Oh yes, that's working fine. That's going anti-clockwise. And obviously if we connect it up this way, it's going to turn clockwise. Surprise, surprise. There we are. So let's twist two of the wires together. Like that. And we're now going to complete the circuit by um, adding a switch. I think it's more interesting to make our own switches. Uh, to make the switch we need a piece of square section wood, a strip of coax that I've cut and hinged and punched a hole in the end, uh, two drawing pins, and a paper fastener. Uh, we tap the drawing pins into the piece of wood. Not all the way down. Very close together but not quite touching. We then hook one of the wires under one of the drawing pins and tap it down. and hook the other wire under the other drawing pin and tap that one down. Um, and we're obviously going to use the paper fastener to connect across. <clears throat> so we post, put the paper fastener into the piece of coax and glue the switch in place. Make sure you leave a space for the switch this is a switch that has to be held, which I think is preferable because it saves the batteries, it can't be, can't be left on. And we glue the switch in place, making sure that the paper fastener reaches the two drawing pins. And that's working really nicely. Um, obviously we've got some uh, decorating to do, fairgrounds are colourful places. I strongly encourage the uh, pupils to come up with their own ideas for, for decorating. Um, I, do, I do give them some tips. Uh, here's one I made earlier as they say and we've got a strip of card here that I've wrapped around, pieces of card here and some horses. Um, I've got a, a sheet of horses here but, but obviously they can come up with their own ideas as well. Uh, this one is going anti-clockwise. There is a way of changing the direction without interfering with the circuit. If you get hold of the rubber band and twist it over, and now when we switch it on, it will go in the opposite direction. So that's my simple design for an electric roundabout.